it's just never a one woman or a one man show. It's always teamwork and it's always a collaborative approach, especially if you want to cause change that is scalable. Hi, I'm Sabina Rachimova, and I'm the founder of the fashion brand Sabina. I'm also a consultant and I work as a lecturer. My focus is sustainable fashion. So I think my vision for the future impact is for all of the efforts of the innovative outside the box thinking companies and also individuals to be backed by proper policies. I feel that we are left with too many loopholes that then can easily be used for greenwashing and an unbalanced approach towards working for profit only and then maybe leaving planet and people behind. My vision for the future is to have more of the policies backing up all the hard work of individuals and companies working in the space. I think we first have to unlearn it and then start to relearn again, because good leadership includes empathy. It thrives on continuous learning and also the ability to admit mistakes. So I think good leaders, they're not the ones who are the loudest or the ones who are the strongest. It's the one who understand that it takes a team, first of all, and nothing is like a one man or a one woman show, but also that this team actually has to be diverse and inclusive because that will then not only benefit one group of people, whatever impact you're having and whatever you're doing as work, but it will actually include more people and stakeholders that can benefit from it. So I feel that as an immigrant child and later immigrant woman, I spent most of my life outside the comfort zone, right? I grew up moving a lot from country to country, having to adapt, having to learn new language. And I got used to the feeling of being uncomfortable. But I think most importantly, I finally learned to use this uncomfort for my advantage, right? So today I know that personal growth doesn't come from a space of comfort. So I continuously question myself and my approach towards sustainability, my role within the fashion industry, and also what impact I have and I could potentially have through my actions. So finding solutions for issues around sustainability, they're just not linear journeys. And I think it's quite an important understanding here that it can be like a roller coaster of testing, then testing, then testing again, then redoing things, then going back to testing and then eventually figuring out what it is that you want to do. So yeah, I think feeling uncomfortable can be quite beneficial when it comes to creating impact. I've been incredibly lucky to get to work with like the best people in the last decade that I have been part of the fashion industry. So every single collaboration partner, everyone who ever opened a door for me and gave me an opportunity, everyone who was willing to share their stage or their platform, they're all allies in pursuing impact. And I said it before, but I think I can't urge it enough. It's just never a one woman or a one man show. It's always teamwork. And it's always a collaborative approach, especially if you want to cause change that is scalable to a certain extent. Yeah, I'm always a bit careful with advice because advice is often built on personal perception of things or personal experiences. And these have a lot to do with privileges, right? So some people have those and some people might not. So whatever have worked for me probably won't work for someone else. But in terms maybe of what advice I wish someone would have given me back then when I started off, I would be happy to share this. So I wish someone would have told me how important it is to have the bigger picture of your vision while getting lost in all the details. You can have like a large task and break it down in little goals. This is how you achieve things. But you never forget what the bigger picture is because this is what you are working towards, right? And then having this bigger picture of your vision in your mind is always what will keep you motivated in your darkest hours. So actually, CISL came into my life earlier this year on two very different occasions, but both equally impactful and important. I was accepted to study sustainable business to do my postgrad degree at the University of Cambridge. And I also got a bursary for that, which was obviously absolutely incredible for me. You know, I do not come from an academic background. I did never dream of something like that happening. Definitely had a huge impact of how I look at sustainability in a holistic way. And then the second 
second was when I was chosen to be part of the Accelerator program for Circular Disruptors. There was, again, just such a nice experience to get together with so many creative people who are just so good at thinking outside the box, and they all brought a very different set of skills. I was very impressed with the selection, actually. It helped me to refine my understanding of sustainability overall, but also expand my professional network. I'm not from the UK. You know, I came here to study 13 years ago and have been building my network from scratch. To be part of a community is incredibly important when you work towards impact.